Hey, what's up, guys? So, hope you guys can hear me. Uh, I know I haven't posted in a while, and um, sorry about that. Just been really busy with stuff. Uh, the new semester did just start, so I'm pretty excited to tell you guys that I'm taking a mechanics class. Low key, I'm doing it just because you could actually work on your own car, and you have all these like equipment like accessible to you. So that's the reason why I'm taking the mechanic class, and it's been a lot of busy stuff. But um, right now I'm going to go to. Uh, I guess you could say like a mechanic shop and have them fix one of my tires because one of my tires ended up getting flat. There's like a fat nail stuck in it. So that's what I'm gonna go do right now. I'm gonna show you my car right now, how it's like, it's just like, you know, on the jack stand. But I will be back with my tire, so. Yeah. I do not know how I got that flat tire. But I noticed it. I have been driving, driving the car for a while. Um, honestly, because I haven't had enough gas money. But I've been riding the motorcycle for a little bit, taking it places, which I really want to ride right now. I don't, I don't know why. Just right now, I have the urge to ride. It. But I've gotta get taken care of my priorities first. First, I'm back, and I just got my tire fixed. Hopefully you guys can hear me, I'll put my mic over here. So I got my tire fixed and uh, about to go home and install it. Um, they fixed the stupid um, screw that was in there and uh, ended up balancing my tire out too, so that was good. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go home right now. Make a quick UE here. And I'll show you guys uh, what's up and like well, the parts that I got. And what I'm going to be doing next on my videos. So you guys can just keep up and don't think I quit on you guys. Alright, we're here. Alright, guys, so as you can see, here's my Subi. It's like, uh, right now. Um, but I put my tire back on, so uh, you guys just hang on. continuing the video on the, the parts that I was going to show you that I got for my car. Um, don't know if you guys remember back, oh, I think it was a while back where I'm, I think I said that I needed a rear end links because uh, yeah, uh, for the six, uh, seven months I've been owning my car now, I've had no rear end links. So yeah, my car, every time I go like up a little steep hill or Every time I'm going really slow, like you'll hear the back rattle so much. So, yes, this is what I ended up purchasing. Ended up getting some. I mean, you guys could see the some hot chicks uh, rear end links. Um, I got this over the parent because the parent did not come with um, the bolts to bolt it on. But uh, I guess this is an, also an unboxing, I could say. So, the box literally comes with a warranty registration card. Um, it also comes with the parts that, that are in this and with uh, part numbers. So, that's also pretty useful. 
So I will be installing these. Um, don't know if I'm, I'm going to be installing them here at my house or uh, at the shop where um, I'm ended, I ended up taking a mechanics class. And uh, I get a use. I get. A, I have the equipment that I don't have here, such as a lift and tools. So yeah. So, don't know if I'm gonna be installing this yet or I'm gonna be installing it at the shop. But definitely need to install them as fast as possible because it's not good to not have air leaks on a car. And um, later down the road, I ended up buying an. Um, uh, a thermostat for my cousin's motorcycle because I don't know if you guys saw the, the motorcycle video that I did and between the video uh, it ended up leaking a bunch of coolant so we don't know if it's a thermostat so we're going to take baby steps on that and I ended up buying the thermostat actually because I only got it from Kawasaki so if you guys are wondering what the part number is I hope you guys can see that that's the part number for the thermostat uh, personally, for some reason, I don't know how I could have not find it online and buy it myself. So uh, I know that's a good buddy of mine that um, he actually worked on the Ninja before, and he actually had like the connection through Kawasaki to just get me the thermostat that I need. So we're gonna do a separate video on this, on installing the thermostat and what are the things that you need to take off the bike to do it and stuff like that, but that'll be later when my cousin gets here. Because uh, I guess he wants a copy to put that on his own YouTube channel. But yeah, so parts that I have right now are my thermostat. Well, not technically mine, but the thermostat for the bike and my hot chick Stanley for my, uh, my car. But when I install this, you'll see what I mean by like, me not having end links because I'm gonna be recording. Um, it's actually pretty pretty damaged up. Like, I'm not gonna lie. The car uh, where the end links go, it, it looks like someone tried to break them off or so. I don't know what the hell happened, there, but something happened. But that is just my uh, little update review on that right now. I uh, don't think it's gonna be raining anytime soon, so. I took the liberty of just saying today I'm gonna wash my car, clean it, get it really nice and clean. Um, after that, we'll see what happens. <laughs> but yeah, that's just my uh, my video to get back at you guys. Sorry for the background messy room. I just started doing some laundry, so that's going down right now. And uh, guess I'll catch you guys on my installment video. See you guys later. Bye. When we